I think so. I think that's the kind of dairy we talking about here. Not like a cow that goes moo, but like a, like maybe a, a soon that goes, I love you, Michiru. Or maybe like a fucking Yumiko and her fucking silly shit, but that's not nearly as entertaining and wonderful and sunshine and happy, smiley inducing as Mija Ru. I can still breathe. It's. It is weird, dude. Go, go, listening to my laugh from the last one is kind of harsh. Especially when you compare it to like. Fucking. The. That's a cup of salsa. Laugh from. I'd like to also, because I didn't get to say in the last one, I'd like to apologize profusely. It doesn't happen so often, but every once in a while I will be recording a video, usually a VN I've noticed, and I will just get an image that pops in my brain. And then I will say a series of words. And then the entirety of my existence will become focused on that because it will become the single funniest thing that has ever happened to me in the history of my life. It happened in Katawa Shoujo too. During the Rin room visit thing. With the, you know, I'm behind you now joke. It wasn't funny. It wasn't at all. This J.K. Simmons, that's a cup of salsa thing. That wasn't funny at all. And yet, it made my entirety of my human beingness just implode in upon itself in a f fit of giggly bitchness. And I don't know... I don't know, cause like I, cause it wasn't even the line itself wasn't. It was it was the when I, the way I was like, yeah, that's what that is what that is. I don't know. For it's just me talking like a baby to an imaginary J.K. Simmons for some reason. That's right, J.K. Sim. For whatever reason, that was enough to make my entire life just meaningless. <laughs> just nothing else mattered. Again, doesn't happen often, but every once in a while. I think those are the two biggest ones. I'm trying to think on any other moments that have hit me that bad. And I think it's those two. I think those are the, by far the two biggest fucking I've broken myself moments. At least when it comes to laughter. The, the I've broken myself crying moments is significantly longer um, of a list. Anyway, we're here for episode number 42 of The Fruit of Grisaia. We're here... For a sweet, tasty bowl of the fruitness. Um, it's going to be tasty. As I just said, with the sweet tastiness. Uh, zesty fresh, perhaps. Um, depending on what dairy we're talking about here in the scene title. Um, it could be the greatest thing ever, or it could be tolerable. It's That remains to be seen. But you know, we're going to find out. Because you know what happened last episode? Sachi murdered the fuck out of a snake. <laughs> it was this is the thing. And Michiru continued to be beyond adorable. And Makina continues to be Makina, actually, is what I guess I'm gonna say there, because that works, I suppose. Um we're gonna move on from there. Let's go. Eevee version. It's clearly better, because Eevee sounds like Eve Y and which is the cutest fucking thing in the world. Fuck Pikachu, Pikachu, who gives a damn? I know you're cute, but you ain't nothing to evil eye. It's the fucking cues. Moving on. Um, I will get that switch. I'm, I am, I have a hundred dollars saved up on Amazon at the moment. I'm getting paid in a couple days. That's gonna put me at 200. The fucking internal struggle that I am of going like, okay, do I buy a chair with a back? Do I buy the shelf? Or do I wait up like a week or two and buy a Switch? I am so dangerously close. Honestly, I think at this point, I'm going to get the big, stupid, fucking expensive shit out the way. And then I'm just going to keep working on all the other shit. Which is not the way I should do it. Because that's quality of life. And the Switch is completely unnecessary. At least until fucking Fire Emblem Three Houses shows up. So, <laughs> but I'm going to do it anyway. Because fuck you. <laughs> um... <laughs> So yeah, that's that's my that's my situation anyway. How about we actually play this fucking game, huh? Human beings are multifaceted creatures. But are they multifaceted? Is that a question of the ages? You got hot, 
He also got cold. <laughs> what? <laughs> move on. It's not uncommon for someone who seems one-dimensional at a glance to reveal a dramatically different side under even light investigation. Most people don't stop at being two-faced. Um, there are plenty of us out there with three or four. A simple case might be a scumbag who sometimes plays the good guy or vice versa. These multiple faces are part of what makes people interesting, but they also complicate our relations with others. The people living in this dorm are no exception to the general rule. Sometimes... Oh my god, the fucking background changed, and I have my thing set to change the borders of stuff, the color. Oh my god, to match! It scared the shit out of me because it turned deep red. <coughs> and I was like, oh my god, the demons have awoken. Um, somebody get the Doom Boy. Um, sometimes. <coughs> I sneeze. Um, I wonder if Makina even thinks in Japanese. Her actions or words are so garbled. She's me. Um, Sachi's extraordinary obedience and obsessive honesty are equally mysterious. Anyone who guessed there's more to those two than meets the eye. But Amine can be oddly evasive and poker-faced at times as well. And even our mentally derailed airhead Mitru has remarkably uncharacteristic moments. That is because she is the greatest human being who has ever existed on the history of time and space. Forevers, though. Which is why it's a fucking crime that she doesn't actually exist and now I'm sad I'm so sad I think it's safe to conclude everyone here has someone something of a hidden side I don't know as soon as you get her a big like black and white polka dot suit brought back to the cow joke from before no I'm not saying she's a cow I'm saying it's a joke on the word dairy and dairy. I don't have to explain myself to you. God damn it. Um, I'll say what? Say what again? I said double dairy. I'm double fucking. They speak English and what? Um, I'm killing time in the lobby after school when Mocket. Don't do that, dude. That's murder. Um, when Mocket suddenly approaches me with a strange question. Dare. By which, uh, by w what? By which you mean what? Is that the same dairy from Mitru's soon dairy? The lovey-dovey side of a split personality? <laughs> Cows moo! Dairy is by now a fairly common slang term. Where the contrast soon suggests a pointed hostile attitude towards others, dairy implies the complete opposite, a sweet and friendly approach. Turn into a sweet little blueberry muffin. Um. The widely known Sundere personality exhibits both behaviors, creating a strong contrast or a gap that many find attractive, apparently. Um, yeah, well, we're gonna just mention that. Uh, it's fucking great, uh, because, you know, uh, the duality of man, um, I don't, personally, I'm not particularly well informed on the subject. While I have some interest in the pseudo Sundere uh, Matsushima Michiru as a subject of observation, my curiosity is entirely directed towards the less artificial elements of her personality. Did you just say some weirdly real shit? Who are you, Yuji? Were you the motherfucker in the last episode who just said some really silly shit? I don't remember what it was because my brain is pudding. But I know it was something. And it was silly. Um, but now you occasionally say some real shit. And I'm like, what? How? Who are you? What have you done with Yuji? This is a weird pause that was completely unnecessary. Anyway, the Sundari attribute itself isn't especially interesting or appealing to me. Nah, no, it's what, it's what lay, lies underneath, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, dog? And especially with Mitsuru, because she's a weirdo who's like, I want to be that, but I ain't really. She's a fucking, I don't know, goddamn enigma. She's my enigma, damn it. Um, in short, I don't really give a damn. Frankly, dear, I don't really give a damn. To ask a question like that, I think you first need proof that Sakagi has dare tendencies. Or at the very least, concrete grounds to support that conjecture. Also, I had originally put a mill tank on Amine's team. Maybe we have to move it over to Yumiko's just for the sake of the joke. Maybe they both get a mill tank. I don't know. 
I was giving him an AML tank because big titties. You know exactly why I was giving her one. Do you possess any such evidence? For starters, Score Bunny is really cute. Um, I asked Makina about the premise underlying her question, on the off chance that there might be some rational thought behind it. Cool. Look, you little bastard. <laughs> There's no fucking way you said all of that. I don't believe you. I know translations are goofy. I don't give a fuck. No. Liar. Front wing, you've lied to me. That's all. <laughs> I don't know how, I just know you've done it. I could see it, but again, maybe that's putting her too much of an, in like a box. I've made that mistake so far in this game already of putting people in too many boxes. The box of archetypedness. And it just, sometimes it just uh, come back and kicks me directly in the balls. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, apparently we're not doing that, so fuck me then. Please, I'm very lonely. Um, that would certainly be a striking contrast. In that respect, this theory of Saki seems to line up with the standard tsundere concept, but... I have to say, though, I don't really think she fits that neatly into the tsundere category. She's a complicated. I see. Kuderi, is it? This is where Panterbell is from, isn't it? Um, I found out that I can't fucking play that on YouTube. Can we... Can you... I'm not salty. I'm not salty that I can't do that on the channel. No, it's so cool. I I love it. Fucking A. Yeah. That's cool. That's awesome. I didn't want to fucking... Uh. <laughs> like, I get it. I get not... It's, again, that was the thing I was worried about. With, because before, Front Wing was not cool with people playing the fucking game on the internet. Like, streaming it and playing it on YouTube and shit. And I'm so fucking glad they laxed up on it. Because I don't know if I ever would have gotten around to playing it if they fucking didn't. So, y'all motherfuckers got a customer. So, yo, people who make fucking Princess of Angel, how about maybe you do that too? Please? <laughs> like, again, I get it. They're very, they're story-heavy games. You wouldn't want their games to be spoiled. Your game's been out for fucking forever. Just let it go. It's like, it's like with when Atlas was like, no, you don't, don't stream or play Persona 5. And they're like, bitch. Baby girl, we love you. I was new to him. I, I didn't know too much about it, but people love Atlas. Point is, they're like, yo, why would you do this to us? And they were like, well, good. Well, we have, we decided we're going to do it. And a little bit later, we're like, okay, maybe we're not going to do it because everyone got really upset when we said that. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, it's one of those we're like, like, again, I get it because they are story focused, but... I have to imagine that that does so much more good than harm for you. Again, I don't know. I've never made a fucking visual novel, but I just, I... Like, again, when I think about it, I don't think I would have gotten around to playing Grisaia. I wouldn't have gotten around to finding the best character that has ever existed in the history of time. Fuck you, fight me. And I will kill anyone on the earth who says differently. Like, there's so much that I don't think I ever would have gotten around to just if I hadn't been able to play it on the channel. I, just, I, I think it's a weird thing. This is not relevant, really. But I don't know. It's just it's one of those things where I don't... I get it, but I don't. And it's frustrating. And I just want to give a huge shout-out to companies out there who are like, Fuck yeah, play the... Yeah, dude, talk about... Go run fucking wild with that shit. Scream our name from the rooftops. Like, I appreciate people like that because you all the fuckers who make it, you know... Not only just you, because not only do you put that out there for other people to be able to see it and enjoy it, but you help it, I don't know, it's 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 weird to describe, but like, I don't know, it's just, it's a thing. Point is, I was a little upset to find out that apparently I can't play uh, Princess of Angel here eventually. Not that I was going to do it anytime soon, we still got 7 billion years worth of Grisaia to get through. Um, just like in general, that just kind of sucks. Makes me sad to hear.
whenever whenever that happens. Again, that was what I thought was going to be the case for Grisaya, and I was like, that's why I never, ever jumped on my fucking radar. And then, and then Front Wing, apparently, a while back, like a year or two ago, had, you know, released it or whatever. So I'm like, that was awesome. So thank you, Front Wing. Thank you. I may give you guys some shit every once in a while. But uh, thank you. Also, please give me free shit, because I love you guys, and I want, <laughs> and I want, I, I want to be the mascot of fucking Grisaya forever. Just me, just me, like, I love this character, that's all you need to know. This game's great, buy it, yeah, fucking A. Cool. <laughs> that's just, that's it, it's just me holding a lemon. Buy a Grisaya, it's great. Uh... <laughs> What? <laughs> I've picked up this term somewhere as well. Let's move on. Because I don't know what life is anymore. I got off on the tangent. Uh, tangentist of ta Never mind, you don't want me as a spokesman. <laughs> I can't even fucking speak. It seems the popularity of the... Yo, I think you should... St uh, st uh, you uh, Buy the... It's really great. Uh, buy. <laughs> It seems the popularity of the Sundari concept gave birth to a variety of subspecies. The Kudare is a particular. Am I recording? Thank God. It is particularly proved durable enough to gain its own semi independent status. Unlike the outright uh, aggression of the Sun, Ku suggests a cool, indifferent attitude. What the fucking shit? Um, the Kudare defines apathy. Or feigns apathy. Not defines apathy. Oh no. Life is precious. Um, I just got a bunch of emotions all of a sudden. That is such a fucking good part of that season. Um, keeping others at a distance of, uh, by means of apparent disinterest, but secretly craves intimacy. Uh, to date, Sakaki Yumiko has certainly demonstrated a consistently cool attitude, if not the lovey-dovey side of the equation. Makina, do you want to make Sakaki go into dere mode? Mm, dere? Oh, for what reason? Sounds about right. It seems like the only reason you would ever do anything ever in the history of ever. I see. If Sakiki herself happened to hear that response, things would probably get even chillier. But I suggest. Uh, but I guess I suggest. Nailed it. Um, it's foolish to hope for anything more from Makina. And are you expecting to accomplish something by complaining to me? Huge to the rescue, I see. You want me to cooperate in turning a Sakagi Dere? Did you turn Russian all of a sudden? No Russian. Um, I quietly fold the newspaper I've been reading earlier, stand from my seat without a word, and walk off to my room. Hi, Satan. Um, just as my hand reaches the doorknob, Makina's round face reappears before my eyes, her shoes screeching on the floor like a cartoon character. She went full goddamn Roadrunner. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have no interest in any of this. Go try the others instead. It's always a good to have a little reminder from Makina that, you know, whenever I see Mitru do her fucking nightmare faces every once in a while, she's not the only one. Sometimes Makina just decides to accept her demonhood in full force, and it, you know, it just goes. Admittedly, the others don't really have that. Yeah, they're much more human in their nature than fucking Makina and Mitru are. Anyway. Hawaii? Go on. Um, well, it's true enough that I'm the only male in this dormitory, but I don't think that really works in my favor. When do you, if, 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 um, if anything, quite the opposite. She seems to see it as something of a strike against me. Dude, strikes, man. Hearing that word makes my entire fucking life want to end itself. Um, I don't think that really makes. It, hey, Makina, without even waiting for my response, Makina shoves me back towards the lobby. You animal. A group meeting, for this, for cereals though, for really, really do what? Um. 
Bad night, everyone except I really do like this little laundry room. I want one of those. Look at this place. Please bet you got books. You got some Coke machines? And there's some juice boxes. Put the straw in the box. Put the, get it up in the grape in my juice box. You got one of them's? Well, this little table. I want that table. This is a table. Those chairs ain't got no backs, but I've become very fucking acquainted with that as of late, so. I really should get that chair before I get a fucking. It's a struggle. I don't know what to do with my life. Amine and Sachi seem to be operating as normal, but Michiru apparently forgot about the meeting and had to be dragged out of bed. <gasps> oh my god, sleepy baby Michiru. Um, she's stifling a weary yawn at the moment. Can I get some PJs? I know I can't. I know you won't do it for me, but please. If there is a god, let be her PJs. What? At the center of the group, Makina gleefully surveys her troops, then begins to speak. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's tons of people who've named their hand Sakaki Yumiko. <laughs> I get it, cause. <laughs> no comment on my hands. <laughs> Other than they are very lovely. Look at these beautiful fingers. Ooh, -hoo, so cute. What the fuck? <laughs> Spreading a sheet of paper on the table, she writes the letter Y with a permanent marker. To ask, why the fuck are we here? Circles it vigorously and adds the note Operation Dere to one side. Operation. It occurs to me, I stopped paying attention halfway through that because I started thinking about the fucking hummingbirds from Spyro. I... <laughs> I completely lost it. And so, comments, are you going to get to... a puddle of sugary goo? Someone eat pineapple before? Okay, let's just move on. <sighs> Yeah, and definitely a bunch of ice types on her team. Sneasel, give her a weevil. Scandalous. Still mad about that spoiler, dude. Fucking, just, no, just noticing that, seeing her bob up, and like, fucking damn it. <laughs> Internet, why? Just be careful with it, dude. It's fragile. You need to be careful. Yeah, no, like Shannon. Um. Ooh, yes. Hmm. Oh, I'm shaped like a fucking cardboard fridge box. It's te <laughs> it's terrible. Omni and Sachi respond at once with outright pessimism. In the first place, we've been forcibly dragged to this point on the assumption that Sakiki is a hidden friendly side, and there's nothing more than a guess based off a common personality trait. <laughs> There's no real reason to uh, believe this pattern has to apply to Sakaki. Amin has known Sakaki the longest among all of us, for what it's worth, so clearly she's not buying into the idea. And she's clearly not buying into the idea. <laughs> I can word. Uh, it seems entirely likely this Dere, uh, Sakaki, is something of a Bigfoot, the product of an overactive imagination. What's more, we're talking about a woman prone to swinging blades around when provoked. As Sachi says, if we adopt Makina's likely rash and aggressive plan, this possibility will suffer some casualties. No jam jams, but we've established how I feel about your casual outfit. Shit is fucking tasty. Um, but just when I think we've reached consensus, one of the group reacts differently. As a PT. I liked Silent Hills too. I really wanted that to happen. Fuck you, Konami. Um, with a <sighs> my hatred, with a few 
<laughs> the fire of a thousand suns. Um, with a contrary personality of her own, perhaps Mitra is being subtly influenced by the possibility of discovering a comrade of sorts. In any case, unlike the rest of the group, she seems genuinely intrigued by the idea. I am therefore genuinely intrigued as well because I am here with a girl. Be it Super Kyle. I don't know why I'm talking like him, but uh, we are not the same person. I don't know what you're talking about. Super Kyle out of the window. Woo and he just fucking falls. Breaks his neck. <laughs> It'd be a very dark turn. Like, I know that there's some roughness probably ahead, but I don't think Kyle diving out a window and breaking his neck is one of them. Thank God. <laughs> um... Because you're my reason to wake up in the morning. Um, Doesn't everyone have a little bit of a dare? So? Except for like maybe Hitler. I think he probably had much of one of those. Is it in poor taste to say that I would watch a show called Sundere Hitler, where it's, it's just, it is, right? It's not good. It'd be fucked up, but I bet you you could do some hilarious comedy out of that. It's literally just <laughs> Hitler, but with like blonde twin tails. <laughs> so we have invaded Poland. I said do that. <laughs> uh, moving on. This is not good. This is very bad. This is this is how you end up on the end of the Twitter gun barrels. What happens? Especially not when I already followed up a previous video this week with I wouldn't kill Hitler. <laughs> Out of context. In context, it makes much more sense. But yeah, it is. It's been a little too much Adolf talk in this fucking week. No more. Um, let's talk about the sunshine of my life instead. You are the greatest thing to ever happen to humans. Ever. I need to meet everyone responsible for making this character exist. I need to meet the VA, obviously, because she is fucking top tier. Um, and we gotta gotta meet the artists. Gotta meet the writer or writers, and be like, "Yo, you did a good high five. And then they're like, "I don't speak English. What the fuck are you talking about?" <laughs> Point is, <laughs> someday. No, 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 you're a sweetheart. You're an angel, Muffy. You are the sweetest of all of the hearts, like them little candies on Valentine's. That is you, but personified. All right. She says things all the time. You're just not in a lot of those scenes, okay? You're not entirely wrong all of the time, though. That's interesting. Why you gotta do my girl like this? Dude, I don't get it either. え、<笑> That's right, we on a boat. We're going full lonely island with this bitch. Um, I feel like the goal has shifted slightly from the original Dere objective, but it seems like our motive is now slightly more respectable than Makina's desire to amuse herself, so I guess I'm not really going to complain. So, uh, okay, I guess the next question would be, what sort of operation do you have planned out, demon? 
Machina flashes a toothy smirk, makes her marker or takes her marker in hand once more, and confidently scribbles the words "compliment carpet bombing" in the center of the paper. My God. Hit her with the utmost of sweetness. Oh, she just implodes. It is sometimes simplistic works, though. I know it sounds crazy that I just agreed with something Makina said or did. I'm just saying it's not a terrible idea. I'm not saying we shouldn't, you know, have some backup plans. I'm not saying we shouldn't really think this one through. I think we should listen to Mitru, as we've established she knows what she's talking about. So I'm just saying... It's not a terrible idea, though. Well, that seems maybe like a dangerous perspective to have, even as a woman. Um, <laughs> can I can I say? I mean, not inherently wrong, but I think that more applies to human beings in general. But that's just me. You tell me I got a cute smile, and I will call you a liar, but I will appreciate that you did it. Um... <sighs> hey, sometimes brute force is a strategy. It's a not great strategy all the time, but it is a strategy, technically speaking. Ooh, baby girl, you a pasta fan? What's your favorite? Is is it spaghetti? You a Alfredo fan? Perhaps lasagnas? I guess lasagna is a casserole more than a. But it has pasta and macaroni and cheese, but like the good kind where you're like, let's make this big old fucking tub of gooey shit and then put some fucking crispy bits and then some cheese on top. Maybe throw some fucking sausage and turn this bitch into the fucking goodest shit you ever seen in your life. Um, <laughs> or some punk ass craft. Sometimes you can do both. It's good. Um, point is. Pasta is one of the bests, and therefore you are one of the bests. And also, this is the point where I would make an angel hair pasta joke, because your hair is angelic. I'd also like to point out again, because while ain't nobody talk shit about me in the comments, uh, I got a lot of pushback in the fucking Discord about my fucking short-haired Mitru comment. Okay, you bastards. Yes, you're right. She is perfect the way she is. I, I don't ever come at me saying like uh, acting like I don't feel that way you fuckers we've established my opinions on her she is the best of all of them she beat literally everyone she beat Ichigo she beat Rem she beat Nanami she beat Tali from fucking Mass Effect she beat all of the people that exists on earth of course she's perfect the way she is I just wanted to see what it would look like you know what I did the thing with the drawing and it looked fucking cute you sass me. I'm just saying, if she wanted it, then it would be awesome, and we should all support that. And I think it would be adorable. Even if she's got to change the hairstyle a little bit. But she's got, the, she already got the flute, little bits there. And it's cute. She's perfect the way she is. I'm just saying, if she wanted to go down that route... You would hear zero complaints from me because all I want is her to be happy. And if it happens to get some cool freshness along the way as a short haired lover boy. Also, then that's awesome. Headphones get on my fucking skull. Um, anyway, just needed to get that out there because there was a little bit of judgments in the discord and I did not approve of the sass. You fuckers. Um, <laughs> she's great the way she is, though. I'm just saying it's, it was cute. Um, I will make pasta for you every day for the rest of your life. If it means you'll smile for me. Um, yes, and that's awesome. I also am a pasta boy. 
It's the best, dude. It's Chinese food in general, pasta, and then that's it. <laughs> those, are, those are the two bests, and they're basically tied in my soul. So, it's partially why I'm fat. But, <laughs> but, like, tell me I'm wrong. Those two things, I live on that till the end of my days, which will not last long because, again, that's definitely not good for you. <laughs> Uh, seems like there aren't any particular objections. In that case, we may as well give Machina's strategy a try. That is a mistake. Also, we said her name is Mitro, not Roger. We've had this discussion already. You silly goose. Good morning. Ms. Yumiko. You lovely lady, you. I won't lie, she does have a pretty face. Again, uh, you are the one and true and only for me. But I'm just saying, she's very cute though. Again, I'm a sucker for the purple hair stuff. Again, she may not be my favorite, but I always, I was a fan of the, the look. Look at her, she's adorable. And when she blushes, it's magnificent. Yeah. See this? It's just that slight bit of color in the face, and it just makes my heart melt. It's great. It's true. I do love the purple. It's very nice. Purple is actually my favorite. Also, fun fact, my first word. Purple. Because I'm an overachiever. And also, because all of my cool happened when I was a kid, and then it all disappeared as a girl. <laughs> I was so smart as a kid, and I got dumber, and dumber, and dumber <laughs> the older I got. In my defense, I'm not joking in the slightest, actually, when I say this. I legitimately think a small part of it, at least, is due to brain damage. Uh, one can only be have their heads smashed into a wall so many times off the back of a horse going at full speed before you start to become just a little different. <laughs> <coughs> so, and I'm just gonna say, even if it's not technically true, even if I somehow managed to get through all that shit, okay, I'm just saying, for the sake of argument, I might be a little retarded. And that that's okay. That's cool. <laughs> I'm actually gonna have to test myself some. Like, just go like, hey, what? I don't know how this works, but can you just te check to make sure I'm. Can you. <laughs> I really wanna know, cause it's real bad. <laughs> um. Anyway. Yes, her eyes are lovely. I'm not hurting on the inside. <laughs> oh, it's just, uh, your. your, um. I don't have anything. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. You already know. I'm dumb. Um, it's a nice, it's a nice face, but I gotta say, I got the most pinchable of cheeks over here. This <laughs> Damn. Damn. Her her casual outfits better though. Then again, I've made it very clear. I'm a hundred percent a sucker for casual outfits over I've never been a big school uniform guy. Like again, occasionally they're cute. Like the sailory outfit sorta of looking ones are adorable. But Like, this is great, but it's not, like, fucking whatever the fuck it is you're wearing normally. <laughs> Otherwise, I guess this is more normally, isn't it? I don't know. Whatever. Um, uh, baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. I was wrong.
God damn it. Oh, my knees. Oh, my, my everything. Oh, no. Oh, all of it was bad. God damn it, woman. Also, it occurs to me that you're welcoming Yumiko into this room. I swear to God. <laughs> if... You be very careful about your coming decisions, game. No, I'm gonna look at your eyes right there. No, not going down. I'd... I need to get one of them eye trackers. You know what's up. Damn it, I have to read. Um. <laughs> but. Damn it. I know I don't have any right to talk as you go. I know you're sitting, I know you're just right there. You're just, you're right there. You're still more covered up than they are, and I, and it's, and... Okay. 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 Shit. <sighs> nice though. Again, I'm on. I'm, a, I'm one for the smaller side. We've established this, but <sighs> fantastic nipples. Um, what the fuck? Um, by the way. If Mitru walks in this room, I will literally die. So just keep that in mind. Please. Um You couldn't even help assist with the covering up. You you were so close. You got you so close and you got so far, but the end didn't even matter. And that doesn't help. Just staring directly at her. <sighs> I mean, it's good. Mm. It's gonna take me seven hours to fucking edit this part. <laughs> I don't know how I could possibly take you that long. Well, I'm fucking stupid. Yeah. <laughs> I'm stupid and slow. And looking. So, you need... <laughs> you judge me. Fucking moving. I'd like to point out that she is doing an infinitely better job than you are covering up her situation. Thank you, Makina, even if you're just fucking. Again, of the three, I just, I'm, I personally lean this direction. I'm just saying that's just for me. It's how I do. I can lean even, oh, may even, lean, may even lean a bit up from there. Again, Mitru is fucking perfect. Um, it's literally gonna take me 12 hours to fucking edit all this out. It's. Oh. You 
おっさんみたいなこじつけの理由つけないでよ。Thank you, Jesus. Yuji, save us from titties.、Um, yo, 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 what up, dog? How you doing? Your buttons look like you have eyes, so your jacket is alive. That's Kyle's compliment for the day. I think your hair looks like giant squid ink noodles. Nailed it. Be true, I am the best at this game. Um, no need to stalk past me without a word, is there? Well, I have everything in particular to discuss with you, ma'am. We need to talk about your SAT scores. Um, maybe not, but I don't think many people would take that as a valid excuse for completely brushing off your classmates. I like the way your collarbone exists. It Nice framing device for the rest of your head. <sighs> Am I a weirdo? Because I kind of wasn't joking. I like. <laughs> a good collarbone is a good. Is that. That's weird, isn't it? I get the weirdest shit. Like. Like shoulders and tummy. I'm a fucking weirdo. <laughs> I just. I like to give every bit of the human human credit where it's due. I just, so many people are like, yo, titties, yo, ass, yo, the vagina, yo, <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, well, yes, but everything else is amazing too. You gotta bring it together, like Voltron. They may be strong on their own, but combined, they'll fucking do some shit. I don't know what they do in Voltron. Probably fight stuff. I never, I never watched Voltron. People seem like they really liked the, the reboot or whatever. I mean, it looked cool, I guess, but I don't like big. Nothing in particular, just trying to be reason to find your soul. Call her bone! Um. I'll call her bone, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what? Um. Come on. It's nothing to get angry about. Scowl like that, and you're just complete. And you're putting your beauty to waste. Yes. You have a problem with this? I got Wonder Clarence waiting in the other room, just waiting for the opportunity. He's been rehearsing his lines for hours. Did I ever give Wonder Clarence a voice? Also, again, I just refer to him as Wonder Clarence. The, they were just normal beat cats at one point, and now they're just nothing but superheroes. It's great. On what specifically? Can't say I know what you're talking about. And Bento, he's been waiting on the roof. We needed someone to wait up there just in case you strolled up there. And he's like, It has been so long since I have been in video, since you had this little bitch baby Kyle come in and steal my thunder, and I do not think that is so cool, Mr. Transfer. I don't like that. It's no fun when you give it to the cat and not to the little muffin baby boy, Bento. He is a little tub muffin, and he does not like that you have passed him up for some bitch ass cat. So, yes, this is you being a sassman. And then Claire is hiding in the bushes, just fucking, you know, salivating, because. She gay as fuck. Um. What? Um. That was probably a line I needed to read. I don't know. I got lost on just all of our mascots. Um. <sighs> Baby girl, come on now. <sighs> Zombies. Um. The group's heavy sighs resound throughout the lobby. Next, our strategist mumbles an admission of defeat. We can. Oh my god. We continued to stubbornly press Operation Dairy until the very end, but a barrage of compliments never produced anything resembling a positive reaction. Quite the opposite. Sakaki's strengthening resistance prompted frequent. Retweet! Retweet! 
Oh my god, I'm dying. Um, well, I guess it's only natural that you get a little suspicious when everyone you know suddenly starts complimenting you simultaneously. Yeah, it is the problem with that. It's true. It's true. Yeah. We were done with that. <laughs> Remember, we had this whole bit about how we weren't going to talk about no questionable fascist dictatorships and shit. <laughs> you brought it back, Makina. How dare you? Yeah. And she didn't get invited to the... Okay, I'm sorry. It's true. She will learn nothing from this. If it's not on ha lessons on how to beat Michiru up, it she doesn't give a shit. Um, well, in any case, I suppose we know that Sakiki doesn't react to this sort of... Well, I mean, she does. She just doesn't let you get away with it. <laughs> No, and that's why she's not best friend. I love you, don't worry about it. Um, and so Operation Dairy fails to produce the desired change in Sakaki Yumiko. If anything, it seems to have brought her attitude from cool down to outright chill. Yeah, it's like one of them polar bears who rides on the slushy... Are those still around? <laughs> Are, they? Are they? Am I an old man again? <laughs> I'm 22. This shouldn't be <laughs> how this goes. Um... Oh. Give me a sec here. I need to just find out. Are we still on the same... On the same Dewey... Yeah, we are. Same Dewey day. I don't know what that means, but let's do it. Same Dairy day. Ooh. The next day, it's not the same day. <laughs> the next day. I'm heading to Sakiki's room in order to drop off a package of hers that arrived in the group mail delivery just now. Normally, I just leave it be. But this cardboard, cord, this cardboard box um, was large enough to protrude dangerously out of the mailbox. I've thoughtfully decided to bring it to her directly. I'm the best. I'm the greatest. Um, is Sakaki at this hour? She should probably be somewhere inside the door. There's no signs of her leaving this morning, so her room is most li the most likely possibility. Every smooth discussion with the sweet, beautiful music in the background is always better when you can't say the words correctly. <sighs> flub it out, boy. Flub it out. Sakaki? It's me knocking on the door, not <laughs> like fisting or something. <laughs> Sakaki. It's open? I gently push open the door and then my entire life wants to die. <laughs> my emotions. <laughs> the door to Sakaki. Please don't go down that route. That's not how we need to do this. <laughs> I, have a, I have a bad... <laughs> I have a bad history with slowly opening doors that are half open... With a black when a black screen is involved, <laughs> the door doesn't. Uh, fucking Christ! It doesn't help that your name is disturbingly similar to someone else's. Um, Sakaki's room stands slightly ajar. Sakaki's normally pretty careful about her privacy, so this is a distinctly unusual situation. Before I realize it, I'm peeking through the opening into her room. Yo ho, you ho. In the center of that room, I'm startled to find a spectacle unlike, quite unlike anything I've ever witnessed before. Oh, look at you, you fucking noodle. Um, <laughs> fucking man. The fuck? Um, <laughs> oh. Oh, what a fucking sweetheart. I mean, you can't really tell in this 
but I'm sure you're fine. Again, admittedly, I am super not a big, bad, I'm not big tits, not big butt guy. Never been there. But like, because like, I'm like, this. what am I talking about? This is not the conversation we need to have. I just, I like thing. I just like it nice and cute and to, to the point. You know what I'm saying? There's a reason we're saying cute boot. You'll see in the loot chat what I'm into. Um, <sighs> oh, you've mastered the art of sound effects. That's adorable. Fucking, this is just me true trying to play the fucking harp downstairs <laughs> the whole time. Um wherever the fuck she is. I don't know where her room is in relation to Yumiko's. Wasn't sure if... Oh, this is Yumiko's. <laughs> Still again. Um... <laughs> that is stupidly adorable. That's just fucking cute. It's not a bad face. There were so many harps. <laughs> um. <laughs> um. Sakaki. To summarize this behavior in one phrase, out of character would be most. Yes. Yes. Sakiki twirls in front of the full-length mirror she's placed in the middle of her room, muttering happily to herself. She examines her features one by one, grinning broadly all the while. It's hard to believe this is the same Sakiki who shot down Makina's operation, let alone the woman whose approach to social interaction cycles between disinterest, rejection, and the occasional fit of homicidal rage. Is this... Dere? Muttering a foolish question to myself, I pull my right foot backwards and attempt to retreat. <gasps> But the door groans on its hinges and Sakagi spins around to face me. You should have brought some WD-40 if you can be sneaking in this room. You should have known. Let's fucking ooze that shit up before you leave. Um. Oh, Muffin. Oh, you, you're, oh. Mail just came. Got a big package. So, can't drop it off. I'll just leave. I'm, I'm gone. I was never here. I was staring you down, baby girl. Up and down. All around. I did a spin along with you, just imagining I was there with you. It might be kinder to say that I wasn't, but unfortunately I'm an honest man. You have a cute boot? Um, tee hee hee, is it? Oh, congratulations on the small butt, by the way. Again, I'm a fan of small, small, it's cute. Let's just move on. So. Yeah. But what if it was left, though? Oh, I see you. Okay, see you, see you later. I closed the door, break into a full arm pumping dash away from the scene. You managed to make this man who took you on in like a full on, like, you cannot best me. I'm. I will neo ninja wiggle my way through this fight of yours, in the beginning of the game to just like nope, fuck that. I'm out. <laughs> it's not that I'm particularly afraid of Saki's attacks, but I don't think there are many people out there who'd willingly choose to be slashed by a box, a slashed at by a box cutter. I'm certainly not one of them, especially given the sincere promise of violence in Saki's eyes right now. But that is Dare, all right. No matter how slight it may be, no matter how well hidden it is, it's actually kind of pleasant to know that Sakagi does have that side of her personality. Every human being is a multifaceted creature. That was disgustingly adorable, for sure. Seems that rule of thumb applies to Sakagi Yumiko as much as anyone else. It was so sweet. It was so She looked so happy. <sighs> Again, that's the thing is... I just want everyone to be happy because it's the greatest thing in the world seeing people you like be happy 
is why I like to do and shit like this in the first place. I, that's why I'm funny rather than big fucking air quotes. Funny as a YouTube person rather than playing everything serious all the time. It's because I, I enjoy the idea of people having a good time. And especially like people who I really enjoy, whether it be just like a friend or a cool audience member I've gotten to meet over the years or whatever. The years. Two years. It's, it's, that is technically years. Literally speaking, that is technically years. Um, or just fucking someone completely fucking fictional. Like, I don't know, for whatever reason, I'm, a, I'm just a huge sucker for that. So it's why, like, I, I immediately started getting like, oh, I kind of think Yumiko's the shit when she started being all blushy and adorable. I don't know. I just, I'm a sucker for that shit. I mean, that's a normal human thing, I think. But yeah, I don't know, man. It's a thing. Also, holy shit, beach trip. Oh. Ooh, ooh, it's gonna get tasty next week. Cause I know what else is coming next week. Fucking A, yeah, yes, yes. My life will be complete. It's incorrect. Still have to do the rest of that route actually, but it will be on the road to being complete. So, no dying in my sleep. <laughs> Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, give it some love. If you guys didn't, well, that hurts my feelings, and I do not appreciate you being so callous and cruel to me and my sweet little dare soul. Um, um, but yeah, no, I, I appreciate it, guys. Anyway, I'll catch you guys next week. Tools, duels, lemons, everyone. We go into the beach. We gonna go dipping. We be dipping in a wawa. That's. <laughs> This is the dumbest shit I've ever seen. Okay, let's move on. Um, we're done. Small butts are fucking cute, though.